In this video, we want to use the factorial notation to calculate NPR. Previously, we talked about NPR. NPR is the number of ways, right, to arrange R items out of N different items. So um, we have like N different numbers, and every time you pick R of them and line them up. So the number of ways to do that is NPR. So how do we calculate NPR? First, we introduce yet another symbol, the factorial notation. The factorial is an exclamation mark, right? It's a step down multiplication. It's a step down multiplication, all right? Say so if you want to investigate what is 4 factorial, right? You start at 4, you step down to 3, to 2, to 1, until you reach 1, all right? And you multiply everything together. That is 4 factorial. And the answer goes to 24. Say, for example, how about 6 factorial? What is 6 factorial? That would be 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All of them multiply together. All right? So how about 1 factorial? 1 factorial is just a 1. All right? It's a 1. All right? 1, just it. All right? Now, the only special thing being 0 factorial. We do have a factorial for 0. But 0 factorial is also 1. All right? If you are interested, you can look into you know the reason behind it. But there's a special requirement that we have to take zero factorial equals to one, right? But that's not the thing here, right? What we want to do is to use the factorial notation to express the NPR. So let's start with an example. How about um six p three? All right, what is six p three? Oh, so imagine you have uh, three boxes here, all right. And then for the first box, you have six choices. You have the original six items, right? You have the six items here. And every every time you pick three of them to line them up. So the, for the first one, you have six options. For the second box, you have down to five options because one is already taken. All right. And then for the last box, you are down to four options because, you know, two has been taken. So um, the number four, six... 4p3 will be 4 times 5 times 6. All right. So in other words, if you have npr, then that would be n, the first box, right, times n minus 1, the second box, times n minus 2, and so on, right, until you have r boxes. The first one is n minus 0, and then you have n minus 1, n minus 2, and so on, right. If you have r boxes, the last one is n minus r minus 1, from 0 to r minus 1 altogether there are r boxes all right from 0 to minus 1 to r minus 1 altogether there are r boxes or r numbers all right so n minus r minus 1 is n minus r plus 1 all right so this is one way to calculate npr but alternatively, you can calculate, or you can also calculate NPR in this way. That would be n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. All right. Imagine n factorial is one times two times three, all the way up to, or shall I say, step down. All right. N factorial is n times n minus one, n minus two, all the way n minus r plus 1. The number behind it is n minus r, or and then all the way down to 1. That is n factorial. How about n minus r factorial? n minus r factorial starts at n minus r and all the way down to 1. All right? If you divide the 2, if you divide the 2, all right, n factorial divided by n minus r factorial, everything here, they are cancelled. All right, leaving only n minus r plus 1, and then step up all the way up to n. So that is exactly NPR from our, uh, you know, investigation on the boxes. So these are the two ways that we calculate the uh, NPR. Number one is use a step-down multiplication. Starting with n, we step-down multiply by r numbers. For example, if you want to investigate what is, say, um, you know, funny value, like, 14p3, all right? You have 14 different persons. Every time you pick three of them, and uh, uh, the first one is the gold medalist, silver medalist, and the bronze medalist. So how many ways we can award the medals? There are 14p3 ways to do that, all right? So you can do it like this. You can have 14 times 13 times 12. This is it, all right? You start at 14, 
all right and then you do a step down multiplication for free numbers for free numbers this is 14 p3 all right alternatively if you want to do it in a factorial symbol that would be 14 factorial divided by 40 minus phi is 11 factorial all right you can also do it like this or you can also do it in calculator now take out your calculator and find the npr button on the calculator all right you can also use the calculator to do that or use the calculator all right so um in this video you are told one the first one the second one and the third one right there are three methods to find npr the first one is a step down multiplication for all numbers starting at n the second one is a ratio of the factorials the last one is to use the calculator right now take out your calculator and try to find out the button on npr all right and try out some of these values say so you can um try use your calculator to get um numbers like um how about um okay how about like eight use your calculator to do that what is eight p four what is um six p three all right what is fifteen p two all right try use three different methods to get the answers okay okay so you want, you may want to pause the video to use the calculator or you know um repeat the series multiplication to get this answer all right Okay, so now I suppose you have the answer. Let's check it. All right, eight P four will be um sixteen eighty. Six P three will be hundred twenty, and fifteen P two will be two hundred and ten. All right, this is a simple exercise. You may want to uh, check your understanding on NPR. All right, so that's how we find the NPR. But remember, more importantly, is what does NPR mean? All right, eight P four, for example, means that. You have eight different numbers, all right. Every time you pick four of them and line them up, and there are one thousand six hundred and eighty ways to do such lineup, all right. Or uh, what does six p three mean? Six p three means you have um six person in the committee. Every time you want to pick three of them, one is to be the president, the other is the vice president, the third one is the treasurer, all right. So how many ways can you choose the free person out of the six and assign them different roles? The answer is there are 120 ways you can do that. That is the meaning of the NPR symbol. All right. So next time we look at what is the meaning of the NCR symbol.